welcome to the BYU Museum of Art. My name is Janelle Emmer, and I am the director here at the museum. And I am delighted to talk to you today about an artwork that is on loan here at the MOA. We are currently standing in Monumental Matters, an exhibition that is currently up at the museum that celebrates, as the title suggests, large contemporary artwork. One of the pieces we're going to talk about is right behind me that we'll delve into and explore a little bit today. This exhibition closes shortly on August 12th, so this is an additional invitation to come and see this exhibition before it closes, or come again and say goodbye before it will leave us shortly. Reliquary is a series of six small paintings that are each of candles by British artist Paul Benny. Benny is an internationally known artist who lived in New York in the 80s and is, was a part of the neo-expressionist movement while he was there. Then he returned to London. He's known for his evocative and dark paintings, also a highly acclaimed portrait painter as well. We are really honored to have this series called Reliquary here as a part of this exhibition. As we begin to look at these pieces, you'll notice that each of the six canvases has a painting of a candle. There is an incredible amount of visual detail on each of these works. I had some visitors say that they thought that they were photographs. They are paintings, and you can see the incredible amount of detail that Benny has put into each of them. You'll notice that they all have a candle with a flame that is at a different moment of its life. So you are encouraged to look at each of them in sequence. And as we look at them, some of the details kind of unfold in what is initially a very simple series. Uh, I think a lot of ideas come out as you start to look at these works. So Benny as an artist was very interested in the visual significance and even spiritual impact of fire and flame. And we see his fascination with that in this particular series. For Benny, fire and flame is a very ephemeral, very temporal um, kind of thing that might evoke awakening or transformation. And we see some of that in this work happening here. I'm reminded as I look at these works of Baroque paintings of the past. In particular, as I look at these, these beautiful images of a candlelight, I think of the Caravaggisti, the 17th century painters influenced by Caravaggio with their dramatic lights and darks and their candles. And I'm particularly thinking of a painting by Georges de Latour by, uh, called The Penitent Magdalene that was done in the middle of the 17th century. In this painting, we see the Magdalene looking, staring deeply into the flame of a candle. On her lap, she holds a skull. Those two things tell us that she is thinking about her own mortality, um, the meaning of her life, even the brevity of her life. And this work, and even other Northern Renaissance Vanitas paintings that introduce that idea of the, the quickness, the ephemeral nature of life, those are themes that Benny is very much echoing in this contemporary series. He has definitely simplified. We don't see the skull anymore. There are not any figures in these works, but we have this candle and we watch the life of the candle sequentially as we look at each of these paintings. It's as if we're watching the passage of time in each of the paintings. So you are encouraged to walk through and see the candle and the light diminishing as we go towards the end. The title of this work is called Reliquary, and that title, usually the term evokes something that holds something of value, often a relic that is extremely a valuable 
often religiously, sometimes jewelry or other types of things. Interestingly, he's calling us a reliquary, but it is that bell jar that holds a candle. The candle is not of extreme value per se, so the title is a little bit maybe an irony or a play there. It, it's not extremely valuable, so why would he give it that title? The title itself almost gives it more meaning, which tells us that he wants us to think a little bit more deeply about the work than just a candle being snuffed out, but that there is a deeper value in the work than just what meets the surface. So sequentially, as you look at these paintings, it's as if we're seeing them transform over time and we're watching that happen with these candles. Um, <clears throat> Benny himself was very interested in spirit, in human spirit, but also in the intangible, in the mystical, even the spiritual. And he is introducing those ideas with this series of candles where we watch them and Although it's a simple candle that is being kind of snuffed out, there's a metaphor here that it, it inspires us to think of our own lives or life, um, that it is brief and short and coming to an end here. The wonderful element of these works is that they are oil on resin on panel. As you look at them, they are highly reflective. In fact, it is impossible for you to look at them without seeing your own reflection. In that way, you're engaging in a part of a conversation. You are a part of these paintings as you look at them. And I think that element is also Benny embracing the idea, this Baroque idea, of having the viewer participate in the work. So come and see the reflective quality of these paintings as you look at them over time. Now one element that I want to point out as you look at these, when you start the very first painting, you almost don't notice that over the candle is painted a clear bell jar. It's almost invisible, but as the candle diminishes and there's more smoke from that candle, the smoke highlights that jar more and more until almost at the end, when we, when we get to the last painting of the series, all the candle has been snuffed out and there is all smoke there. Now there's a little bit of play here. We know as viewers, when we look at this, that bell jar is large enough and has enough oxygen, but we probably there probably wouldn't be that much smoke from the candle. And at the very end, it wouldn't be just suffused with smoke like this. So there is a little suspension of our scientific knowledge here. But Benny is actually being more poetic than scientific. He wants us to think about what is left behind with that candle or even perhaps with a life, that often there is more left behind than might immediately meet the eye. And that's kind of what we're left with, this idea of transcendence, of transformation into something else, and of pondering what is the impact that things one thing has on another or that we have on other people. I um, find that this whole series is very moving, very interesting. It has so many insights. It invites us to think about transcendence, about meaning, about purpose, about enlightenment. These are just some of the ideas that I that come to mind as I look at this work, and you may have others. So I would love to invite you to come and see this work, get lost in the beautiful depiction of this flame and the candles before this exhibition closes. So I hope that you'll take the time to come look at Paul Benny's work and several of the other pieces that we have in this exhibition. Thank you so much for tuning in today.